What does it mean to be different if you're a Weddell seal in Antarctica? Ecologists from Montana State University are studying individual variation in Weddell seals as a part of a long-term population study funded by the National Science Foundation. One of the fundamental questions in biology has to do with individual differences. Are individuals at birth different from one another in their qualities? Individual differences among animals can come from several sources. We have the genetics that they get from their parents. We have also nutritional features from the mother that may be passed on. Some mothers may be better at uh, feeding their young and giving them more nutrition. They may teach them more things, so some mothers may swim with their babies more, and so perhaps pass on skills, and so we can have differences in individuals that occur after birth, after the genetics are in place, and so we end up with what we call phenotypic differences, so appearance differences, where even given two animals with the same genetics, we might end up with animals with different performance characteristics because of things that happen after. Weddell seals are true seals and are found only in Antarctica. They are the southernmost mammal on Earth and live in the most pristine marine environment remaining on our planet. They are great divers and swim far under the frozen sea ice to return to pupping colonies where they can give birth where there are no natural predators that might prey on their vulnerable new pups. This Weddell seal study is one of the longest running population studies ever of a long-lived mammal. One of the nice things in a long-term study like this is we have complete reproductive histories on thousands of females. And so what we're able to do is look for individual differences in how long some of these females live and how many babies some of these females produce. What we've been able to learn about individual animals by tagging them at birth and then following them for many years until they disappear from the population is that 80% of the pups never return, but of those 20% that do return as young adults, some might produce no pups, even though they've survived to adulthood and are sexually mature. Some may produce one or two pups and then disappear from the population, which we're pretty sure means that they died. Recently, the researchers have found through studying a 30-year database of the reproductive history of thousands of Weddell moms that there is strong evidence that some females are better at producing pups than others. Before this study, it was not known if the difference in the number of pups that different moms produced over a lifetime was due to random chance or due to fixed differences among the seals. The new findings indicate that it's due to real or fixed differences in individual quality. The root causes of the fixed differences are not yet known, but several possibilities exist. Among them are the differences in females' genetics, the type of mother and early care that the female had when she was a pup, and the type of environmental conditions that the female experienced early in life. Regardless of the underlying cause, it is now clear that some female seals are robust producers who have lots of pups during their lifetimes. Others are more frail and have few pups, while most fall somewhere in the middle and have the average number of young. Interestingly, results also suggest that the expression of these individual reproductive differences tends to remain constant across varying environmental conditions. This means that when the going gets tough, the tough stay and they keep on producing pups. At some point in this project, we would love to be able to answer questions about nature versus nurture. Where do differences come from? and which differences matter? What strategies are best? And are there better strategies for some animals and a very different strategy for another animal? Through this long-term study, Weddell seal researchers will be able to learn more about what individual variation means to the future of this long-lived Antarctic marine mammal.